Today in second grade math, we are going to focus on two different types of word problems. Today we will be discussing add to problems and take from problems. Add to problems is where we will use addition to solve and take from problems is where we will use subtraction. Let's get started. Look at our first problem. This story problem is about Mike. Mike is our character in the problem. Mike has 15 toy cars. He gives three to his sister. How many does he have left? Now, we know that Mike is our character. And as I read the problem, I circled the two numbers that we have to work with. Let's make a number sentence to describe what is happening in this problem. First, it says Mike has 15 toy cars. So let's write down 15 for our first number in the number sentence. Now it says he gives three to his sister. Now if he's giving them away, do you think we're going to add three or take away three? We are going to take away three because if he's giving them away, he's not getting more, he's going to have less. Then the question says, how many does he have left? Now, when we do this subtraction, I'm going to be using touch points to help me subtract. When I use touch points, I say the big number, and since I am subtracting, I need to count down like this. 15, 14, 13, 12. That means that Mike has 12 toy cars left. So I put my number answer and my label to show what the item was that he had in the problem. Let's take a look at the next problem. The class buys five new books. Now they have 17 books. How many books did they start with? Oh, wow, those words are very telling in our problem. The question is asking, how many books did they start with? That means that my missing number is the very first number because I don't know how many they started with. So we know they had some books at the beginning. Then it says the class buys five new books. Now, if they're buying five books, do you think we should add those books on or take those books away? We need to add them on because we are getting more books. Now they have 17 books. How many books did they start with? Now, if I take these numbers and I put them on our math mountain, something plus five, those are my two add-ins because I'm adding them up, they equal 17. He's the king of my mountain. I can either count up or count down to find my missing add-end. Since I'm working with a pretty small number, I'm going to count down. Go ahead and count with me. 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12. So using my touch points, I get the answer of 12. That means the class started with 12 books. Don't forget to add your label to show what the item was in the problem. The next problem says, the cafeteria has eight boxes of oranges. They use some for lunch. Now they have two boxes left. How many did they use? So let's make a number sentence to show what's happening in the problem. 
First, it says that they have eight boxes of oranges. So let's write that eight down. They use some for lunch. Now, let's think about in the cafeteria. If they use some of the boxes, does that mean they're going to have more or they're going to have less? They're going to have less because they're using them. But I don't know how many they used yet because it uses the word some. They use some. We don't know what that is yet. Now they have two boxes left. How many did they use? So eight minus something equals two. If I put this on my math mountain, I see that I'm subtracting and I know that the king of my mountain always comes first when we subtract. So that means the king is eight. So my other two numbers must be my add-ends. Now, I could do this in two ways. I could start at two and count up to eight, or I can start at eight and count down two. Since two is such a small number, I think I'm going to count down in this problem using my touch points. So I start and I say eight, seven, six. That means that they used six, hmm, what was it? Was it six oranges? Let's take a look. Six boxes of oranges. Now, you can probably just put boxes. That would be a good label. If you want to go above and beyond, you could write boxes of oranges. But I think that boxes would be fine to write for our label. Miss Debussy buys three new sets of pencils. Now she has 10 sets of pencils. How many did she start with? Oh, here's another one of those problems. We are missing the number that we're starting with. That means it's our first number that we're missing. We don't know our starting number. Let's see what happens with our pencils. Miss Debussy buys three new sets of pencils. Now, if I'm buying new pencils, do you think I should add or subtract? I'm going to add because if I'm buying them, I'm getting more. Now she has 10 sets of pencils. How many did she start with? Something plus three equals 10. If I put that on my math mountain, here's my two numbers that I'm adding. Something plus three, that gives me 10. 10 is the king of my math mountain. I think I'm going to count up for this one. I'm going to start at three and count up to 10. Now, since you can't see me, I'm going to make some dots, even though I would use my hands to grab the small number and count up to the big number. So I'm going to say three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's count and see how many I added. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I added seven. That means that Miss Debussy started with seven sets of pencils. I'm going to just write seven sets. Let's practice one more problem together to practice our add to and take from problems. Caleb has six computer games. He gets some more for his birthday. Now he has 14 games. How many did he get for his birthday? Let's write a number sentence with what we know. We know that Caleb started with six computer games. Then he gets some more. Ooh, if he's getting more, should we add or subtract? 
Let's add, but we don't know how many because it says he gets some more. So we're missing our add end. Now he has 14 games. How many did he get for his birthday? Let's put our two add ends on our math mountain and our king at the top, that's 14. So I need to figure out how many more I need to get from six to 14. I think I'm going to count up again on this problem. So I'm going to go six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Let's count how many dots I made. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That means he got eight games for his birthday. Wow, he is one lucky kiddo. Eight games for his birthday. Remember friends, think about what's happening in the problem and think in your head, should I add because they're getting more or should I subtract because they're going to have less? Look for some key words to help you.